And now to developing news. Parents, students and staff at Bishop England High School are reacting to the school being vandalized. Several messages scrolled across that campus in black spray paint. News to Katie Augustine joins us now live from Bishop England. And Katie, you were there as a group of people gathered at that school earlier today. They form a, a prayer circle, but I'm sure the school is still dealing with this information. What do you know right now? Carolyn, that's right. As far as I know, the school is still processing this information, and that's why students, staff, parents, and even the school's priest stood in front of Bishop England High School today to do that prayer service, as you talked about. One parent from that group tells me that these graffitied messages do not represent what the school stands for. Cryptic symbols and messages written in black spray paint discovered at BE in the early hours of the morning. It's not what Bishop England is about. Things like, quote, this is a bad school, the word capitalism, and, quote, read the leftist theory scrawled on the sidewalk of an entrance. An acronym ACAB, which typically implies a negative statement about police, displayed front and center on the building. It's not what our community um, as a school tries to do and be known for. In the hours after the vandalism was found, parents like Karen Taws started a text chain to try and bring some positivity. We are here to um, support our school in a prayer service. We're here to support our students, our faculty, our staff, our priests in what Bishop England is all about. A few dozen people bowed their heads in prayer just in front of the school to pray for healing. We know when we pray together, our prayers are bigger. The Diocese of Charleston released a statement on the vandalism saying, quote, we were extremely saddened to see that Bishop England High School had been vandalized overnight. We are fully cooperating with authorities as they investigate this matter. Meanwhile, the Bishop England community is focused on moving forward together. We're not here to condemn. We're just here to pray for each other and to pray for our community. The Charleston Police Department tells me they are still looking on identifying any suspects in this case.